Hey everybody, Washies here, and welcome back to Crusade Kings 2. Now, well, I think it's time that uh, Northumberland went to war with me again. Uh, because they have lots of claims, and I have Dejour claims on them. So the faster I get rid of them, the better. Now, which is the best one to go for? Probably Dunholm. So that is one I'll go for. Um, so there we go. Dejour claim on Dunholm. He has 1.7 thousand troops. I beat that just for my own levies. I'm going to raise up everyone though, just because I don't want to uh, risk any sort of revolts through weakening my own my own uh, direct levies. Just because that's just a bad way to to rule, unfortunately. And yes, people will get annoyed, but hopefully not too much. So everyone can group in Northampton. All this time I'm sort of just waiting for um, uh, hopefully I'll win this battle. Maybe not. More ally, more support will come. I mean, those 2,000 guys would help, but I, I'm trusting these guys to hold them at bay. It's the slowest battle ever. Two guys are dying a day. Which is, that's more of like a, a bar fight than, a particularly bad bar fight than anything. And there we go. More died. Cool. So they are retreating to their ships. Good. Run away. And who's got involved here? Random count, I think. Yes, chief of oh, the chief of Ross. Ah, they're allied through some way. Talor's son-in-law. Uh, probably one of them. So that's fine. I can take on both of them at the same time. I've got way more. Ah, he's becoming Norse. Cool. That's fine. Um, that means I'm still not gonna. Ha I shouldn't have to worry too much about uh, getting him Norse for if I don't manage to convert any of this land to Norman. This reign. Because I do hope it's going to happen. I will have. I will probably um, attack uh, Brittany if I get the chance. So I'm not really with it. It's quite late in the day here. Now uh, I'm going to put this guy in command. Overall command. Then you. And then you. And we're going to go chase him down. Now. Um, oh. What's happened here? He's trying to revoke a title. Okay. He's probably going to win that. I've got a claim on the county of Kenev, so I'll actually take that. Yes, I will lose prestige. Not the best. But uh, hopefully, um, they're going to get away to Westmoreland. So we'll go via Westmoreland and go catch them in Cumberland, which is plain, so they get no defensive bonuses at all. And I crush them fully, which is great. So I'm on 46% war score. I'm going to go straight to Dunholm and start occupying it and educate some of my kinsmen, become Norse, become Norse, mainly because obviously I don't plan to stay Norse, but um, I need to be, have, have, once I convert to Norman, then it should be fine, then I'll start getting some Anglo-Saxon counties converting to, um, to English, hopefully. There's quite a lot of Norse culture around, so, oh, hello. Germanic rebels. Okay, cool. That'll be uh, my next target after I've taken Dunholm. I'll leave the army of Ross up there. They can do what, what they want to do. They're not really doing anything. Um, and then I will educate my some of a stutter. Become Norse, please. So this Prince Harold is becoming of age. Well, you know, in, well not really. He's, he's a year into his education. Um, I'll probably educate. I'll educate this guy myself, I think. I'll educate you myself. Sorry, mate. But my two sons, I want them to uh, to be decent. So I'm two above my domain limit, which is obviously not great. However, I think I should manage to get rid of that eventually. I want to keep hold of uh, Cornwall for now. Um, and obviously, I want to keep all this land. This is my core land. I want to keep hold of this throughout my reign. I'm only keeping all of Cornwall and uh, here because I want to convert that to a merchant republic. I'm still not entirely sure how to do that. I will find a way. For now, however, um, I may just give that away, to be honest. Or at least give it to a, uh, a town guy like that guy. That could work. Give you a grand land title. Uh, okay, I can't. Okay, that sucks. But either way, um, could make it a... Oh, wait, no, I was going to build on it, wasn't I? That's what I, that's what I was going to do. Which is what I will probably still do. Which is good. 
Because then I'll be able to have a little Merch Republic there, which is always nice. Now, I'm on 59% war score. Once I've fully occupied Dunholm, I've still got quite a few holdings to go, to be honest. Stealing some money. Uh, wonderful. I've gained technology points. I'm going to move this guy around to Leon next. Uh, yeah, become humble, please. That would be great. Improve that religious opinion. Lovely. Cool. So, they're occupying Nan, apparently. Oh, hello. What's going on here? He's revolting to try and get his claim. He's Welsh. Well, Breton. Well, no, he's, he's Welsh dynasty is what I meant to say. Um, fair enough. Cool. So, this kid can be educated just randomly by anyone. Um, and I should manage to occupy this like so. 100% war score. And there we go. So, he is now my new, my new guy. Uh, he does not like me, but he is incapable. His son is content. I'm going to send him a gift. Just so he knows that I, I appreciate his contentness. Oh, wait. I've got to go kill these rebels. Go on. Let's go kill some rebels. Almost forgot that. I can usurp the petty king of Northumberland. Very nice. I can do that and then declare war on this guy. Or at least vassalize him. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So, I'll have that. Thank you. I lost some money for that. but it Oh, I took his land fully. Cool. And then I'll offer to vassalize you and you say yes. And there we have it. I fully control du jour England. Fantastic. So let's have a look. So Lancaster, does he, he likes me, so I'm going to keep hold of Westmoreland for now. But I will give the Duchy of Northumberland away, because I think I'm going to be over my limit. No, I'm not, actually. I'll keep Northumberland for now. However, these guys are not going to like me because of it. Um... He... Ah, it's not too bad. If they stop becoming a problem, I can give away the land and not to worry about them for another generation. So, I'll win my war against them. Thank you. Is this guy winning? His, who am I involved in? Oh, yes. I joined that war, didn't I? Cool. So, I will disband these levies. Goodbye. And I need a new commander. So, have I got a uh, designated regent? So I have. He is terrible as a designated regent. I want my designated regent to have a really good uh, stewardship, such as this guy. There we go. So he's not going to like me now. However, I don't care. So it's fine. So is, was this the guy? Uh, yes. No. One of them. One of my dukes I revoked a the designated regent title from. Maybe it was this guy up here. It might have been. No. Okay, well, either way, it's all fine. Now, anyone else I can declare war on? I can declare war on Dehubarf. I can attack Brittany while it's defending. However, I'm then going to struggle with my domain even more. I mean, I could... Oh, yes, I was going to give away man. Right, can I borrow from the Jews? Uh, no, because I've already done it. I could expel the Jews. Lose diplomacy. Do I have sympathy for Judaism? I do. I'm not going to roleplay. I won't expel the Jews. I have sympathy for them. So I won't do that, even though it will give me the money to then build a uh, city. Which would be nice. But at the end of the day, I'm still I'm going to gain that anyway through tax, so it's not really a big deal. Um, crack down his criminals. Gain on the business. I become greedy. And it, that actually improves my tax modifier, so that's actually not too bad. Church doesn't like it, unfortunately, but who cares? They're not going to give me money anyway. Yeah, this guy is as greedy. He's, he's lost on this. He's not going to give me any any money whatsoever. I'd call you into a war. Why would I? I don't know, but I would, apparently. And, yeah, I'm getting almost 10 gold a month, which is nice. Can I attack this guy? Only to claim it for random people. Um, Scotland, I can claim Argyle. No one land... Oh, you have a claim on Buchan. You've got a du jour claim on Argyle. Are you Counter Sudriana? Hmm, maybe. What about Ross? No, Norway? Norway's possible. They're in a revolt. Declare a war for... No, nothing of any importance. Ah, well, not really the end of the world. I will slowly start... What about Gary? Gary's independent. Maybe I can attack them. No, only a tributary and 
a random claim. If I'm going to attack anyone, it will be Scotland. Because it is only they've only got 2,000 guys. So I will actually do that. I will declare a claim war, because I'll always have access to a du jour war, on Buchan. So we'll raise up my levies, like so. And we'll gather up here. Uh, the animal must be hanged. Let's 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 find out. He's probably innocent. Usually is. I'll disband. I'll actually hold this army here because I don't want to disband them. They are useful, but they will get killed if I send them elsewhere. And I'm trying to kill. Oh wow, it's gone up. Spymaster. I've got spymaster involved. That's why. Ugh. My my the army I didn't want to get killed has been killed. Oh dear. Okay, so now she knows. Well. Her kin know that I killed her. Oh, they're married matrilineally. So he dislikes me because I'm a known murderer. But they weren't actually that related, so that's fine. Fine. Um, I forgot about that, to be honest. I forgot I was marrying into the family. But oh well, I'm English. Well, technically not, I'm Norse. But either way, I'm the King of England, so it's kind of going to go hammer the Scots on them. Is she actually Scottish for one thing? She's not picked. Yeah, they are Scottish, cool. So I'm gonna go up and kill this Moray and this army in Moray. Is it mountainous? No, it's hills. Is it am I crossing a river at all? Sudrian Buchan. No. Oh, gain just. Good stuff. So go through our fall and we'll attack them there. They've got 2,000 guys, they've got 6,000 guys. There shouldn't be any problem whatsoever in crushing them. Like so, they will retreat to Argyll, I'll chase them to Argyll, and then straight onto Buchan. And then I think. I may just leave Scotland alone, to be honest. Let them expand as best they can. Because my daughter will end up getting my family on the throne. Which would be nice. Um, of course, I do want to form the Empire, which means I will have to uh, claim Scotland at one point. However, maybe through some... Unfortunately, I do have two very good sons. Sons turning out quite well. I don't want to give them... I want to get rid of them at the moment, in the hope that my grand granddaughter would uh, take over, or grandson rather. However, I mean they've still got a couple of years to go. We'll see. Maybe my maybe my sons will die. I could always um, nominate them for a bishopric. Nominate bishop. My brother, no, he doesn't like me. Basically, is the answer to that. If I make him like him. Like me, maybe I can get rid of one of my sons. Make this guy with a stutter a priest. That could be fun. So yeah, I'm gonna send my uh, guy to improve religious relations. What the hell? Capua is Germanic. Ulfing. <laughs> Why are they down there? I don't know, but I like it. And they're attacking it in a conquest of Benevento. And they're winning. Fantastic, cool. I really hope that that survives. If only they were Norman. That would be amazing if they ended up creating Sicily. I'd be so happy. I'd be like, oh, that's my first series all over again. Now, um, yeah, so I can call allies in, but I'm not going to. It's a bit mean. Uh, I don't really care either way. And I've become diligent. This is such a good focus. I'm only one below my, uh, one above my domain limit now, which is just great. That means I've only got minus 10%, 10 opinion to my uh, general opinion with all my vassals, which is great. Uh, you are kind of Winchester. You're technically not even my ally, my, my vassal, so the Jarl is, is in the right, to be honest. Oh, they're the ones fighting each other, and I was just like, yeah, I back one of them over the other. Cool. That's really uh, quite, you know, uh, I'm not really arbitrating there or anything. Discovery of Vinland. Ah, yes, that's the event chain that gives you uh, the Vikings, not the Vikings, the, um, the Aztecs, which is, you know, really fun. So, I'm not... 100% more score here, which is a bit irritating. I don't even... They... The county of Ross controls most of the land of Buchan. So I may have to uh, take that back, to be honest. I get the Strathern on there. Will I catch them? I will. Good stuff. Let's catch them and kill them. Uh, I don't care either way. So I've caught this army, and they are dead, and I have 100% more score. And there we go. Cool. So I will move my army back into Lothian. I've had another son, because apparently I can't keep it in my pants. And I will disband my army. Lovely. So, England's looking quite good right now. 8,000 men. 
Um, may have to start going into Wales if I'm planning the marriage game to get Scotland under control. Um, I mean, what claims do I have under Hubarth? Claim Gwent. And this woman, I have a claim on Powys. So I'll go for one and then the other. He's got one and a, one, one point three thousand. She's got one point seven thousand. So I'll go for Glam, uh, De Hubar first. Claim Gwent. Raise up my armies. All my vassals, I think. And oh no, and go kill them. I'm not going to use my own levies here. There's no point. What was that? Oh, my brother died. Oh, he was quick. He was great, Osric. He died a maimed cripple. How the hell did he get maimed? And a leper. Good God, he was a wreck. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get a claim on Leon now. Uh, and then move him along to Domnonia. Just because I have a, have a feeling he's going to win. Uh, it's, a, it's a horrible war, that moment. I mean, yeah, they've... Whoa, hang on. Uh, oh, Ireland's got involved. Lothringia... Alt Clut and Luffering and what? Hang on, sorry, what? Let's have a look. His allies are no, hang on. What on earth was she thinking? Um, so I'm just gonna work out who this woman's allies are. King Lothringia, but also the Queen of Lothringia, Queen Tandrek of Lothringia. Oh, that's her. Oh, I'm getting confused here. Okay. Oh, wow. That's annoying. Don't do that. Don't get involved in that. Oh, God. Lothringia is about to inherit uh, Brittany, which is not great. Um, although, maybe not, because she doesn't have any kids. He has. He's had a previous wife. Yes, he's had several previous wives. Bloody hell. So, okay, that's crisis averted. If they were moving, if they were falling into the sphere of influence of um, Lothringia, that would be bad. That would be really difficult to get rid of. I hope they win their rebellion to be honest. I don't want them to have an alliance because I need to crush them. Cool. We've done that. So march down into Gwent. And we've wiped the army out. So we're on 71% war score. Uh, you can become kind. You became kind. Lovely. Lovely. Good stuff. That'll, be, that'll serve you well when you're a priest. Oh, and my... my late brother has had a son called Osmond. He is a dwarf. Neither of my of his parents are dwarves. I think she might be he's either very unlucky or she's not really that you know faithful. So that's fine. I've got a dwarf in the family. I, I'll, I'll make him a court dwarf when he's of age. Yes. In fact I'm going to go back to him. He's too young to arrange a uh, marriage in the dwarf. Nah. Ah, oh, well, when he's of age, I will find him a lovely dwarven wife. Give him land. I might make him, like, King of Wales or something when I'm a uh, emperor. And s just see what happens in the new land. And that's another claim. Good God. I wanted to spend money on a, on a settlement. But instead, it's I'm just going to claim all of Brittany in one go. Which is pretty great. I need, I need money. That will be my thing. I'm as well. Which is all fine. 9,000 troops now. Which is cool. I think I'll wait to see what happens here. They're on 38%. Once, if I'm in a good position when they've won their war, or lost their war, whichever perspective you're currently holding, then I will probably attack and take at least three counties, possibly even the fourth, if my Chancellor is particularly good at his job. Again, he's on 26 things, so no wonder. I don't have a Spy Master. How am I not dead? I was very lucky to not be dead. I've probably got a lot of enemies. 84% war score now. We'll fully occupy this and then it'll be over, I think. I mean, I'll probably get it from just this next siege. Once I've gotten this down. And then it'll just be a simple case of, oh, you've become gregarious? You became gregarious. This sun is turning out amazing. Look at this. Gregarious, humble, and just. Proud or humble, it's a bit of a toss-up, really. They both give different benefits. Uh, but just and gregarious, both amazing traits. And you can lose your title of Gwent. Lovely stuff. So I will actually disband this army and end the episode. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.